Hello guys, in today's video I want to talk about how to create two blogs in one WordPress website. You may be wondering, why do you need this? First, who see me first time, my name is Aeredes Kirstukas and who know already, thank you for coming back. In first three minutes I quickly will explain how it works if you will don't understand any part, don't get scared and run away, as later we will create new blog post from scratch and together go through whole process, but those who are advanced can stop here. I am stopping talk now and let's our hands get dirty. Have a look and you can see I have two blog for my tutorials and second for my resources. So how I made it? I used plugin premium add-ons for Elementor with the Elementor page builder. I'm gonna leave it in the description or you can just go and search add new and you can find in the WordPress plugin directory, edit with Elementor. I press on the sign and this is the plugin settings. So I have a classic, I can have a modern if you want, this kind of thing, but I like classic more. You can have a grid or you can have normal one. I like grid ones, layouts, event or masonry. So that would be all mixed up. You pick how many columns and how many post you want per page. The most important thing is query. So here basically sources posts as you can see and I have to exclude categories, IRI team, animation or anything I put on the resources or ideas, edit on resources. Now you go to check query and here is well post. You can have pages, landing page, other things and exclude categories. I am excluding tutorials. Display option, you having zoom in effect. I'm showing actually the future imaging, what you're seeing here. Post options, I don't have any. I don't want any tags or the author. As you can see, it's clean, but if you want, you can enable and then it's gonna be some information to find settings. We have links to a new tab. So I want to when it press would be open on new page, but you can disable this and carousel pagination. I don't have any, but you can turn it on. Makes sense to turn it on anyway. You can adjust previous page previous. Next is next and update. If I'm going to go on the post, you will see my page is all made and we have different categories. Going to go on the page, edit. You have a section categories. And here I'm selecting resources, themes in this scenario and Astra team or have other one for tutorials and then different tutorials. Let's say I made few for the same like teams, IR team, Astra team and add another one subcategory. Add new for example and then you can pick in parent. So let's say resources or you can go teams parent category and then it's gonna come up under the teams. Making its work so important to manage correctly categories and then if you're creating some new category which one on main page it isn't it would come up here so you have to go and to the page settings each time to the query and add this category in the filter exclude that would be show up so i'm as you can see excluding what i'm, I'm showing on different block it's kind of pain a little bit because you have to not just create the page but then you have to go and adjust the showing up page as well imagine i want to make another resource file for and if you wanted to create that block page you need to come to the elementor search for the post and you come up premium blog post if i would be press select new one and then just drag it there so here you are how do you find the the blog widget my blog so how i would be creating i'm gonna start from scratch i'm gonna show you all the process i would go first to the post page and then i'm gonna go and find the one file resources vp forms or any which one is from that blog and then i would copy and you can see I have now VP Forms draft. Press edit, change the name, and then slug. Press on the button get it now, edit. Go to the block URL, select, copy, come back and paste and press enter. Watch tutorial, edit, delete. 
as I don't have yet tutorial, I gonna post the link when I gonna create one. Just gonna press the hash. Delete this one. I don't need this picture. Remove the block. Edit again. I just would come to the page and copy and then make a screenshot. Go to the paint, paste, crop, file, save, PNG, background, come back, add block, image, load, align center, make rounded, lift it, then go add block, paragraph, and type some text, enter, I want to lift it up, I want to align center, looks good then go to the post that's gonna be resources add new category parent category gonna be resources and new category name premium add-ons add new category and i have to disable wp forms from which i'm copying so i like what i see publish publish view post we have to replace this edit post premier block widgets update you go back to the post, replace the image, upload file, select this one. I pre made premium block future image, open, copy, paste, paste, set future image, update, refresh. And you can see now premium add ons post has been created. If I would press, no, it doesn't work. So let's go here. You can see premium add on. If I would press, you could go this one premium compare with send and blue after we had made the post if we're gonna come back on the main page and the, in the category menu you could see that premium add-ons button appeared and what we don't like so this or the query it works brilliant to filtering the post but it doesn't filter in category so if you wanted to keep category you have to each time to come and add manually here one so I I'm gonna go and gonna find the premium add-ons and you can see it disappeared straight away update so keep in mind if you want to just filter the post it would be enough for those posts use just resources if we're gonna go in our other blog you can see that in the query option i just filtering tutorials and it worked perfectly if i would like to add as well categories as in here that would be as well i would have to come to that filter and manually filter every category which one i would be wanted to show up on this page final summary would be I had showed how to make two blocks in one WordPress site by using categories filter and display on any page using Elementor Page Builder plugin Premium Add-ons. Another way is to make by using custom post types. So don't forget to subscribe and click on the notification icon and then when the new video will be released you would immediately find it out. Meanwhile, I would love to hear what you think about the content. Just drop the comment below and share your thoughts. If you get any benefits, please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you and bye-bye to the next time.